I think that I was blocked by the person who I had been seeing. Um, like my messages are not going through. Nope. I like sent a text last night saying good night, and I normally get something back, and I didn't. And when I tried to send a message message this morning, like it's not going through, but it goes through to all my other friends. Like why, why does this keep happening? Bruh. Um, and I know that this isn't like a me thing. Literally makes me so sick. She's really panicking over this. And the funny thing is, this might have been a situation ship that she was in. Now, if you don't know what a situation ship is, it's basically friends with benefits. Question is, would you date a guy without a car? Uh, no, probably not. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't have a car, but I don't want to drive. I'm a really nice guy, though. I'm sure, but I'm not a chauffeur. I right, fair. I respect that. She wants a guy who's going to lead. You got to be a leader. I'm off the apps. I'm deleting them. I'm never, ever, ever using a dating app again. <laughs> because I don't trust anybody. You can just be whoever the fuck you want on there. Just give her a few days and she'll be back on the apps like they always do. And the last person that I dated was not the person I thought they were. Mind you, we went on about six dates before I figured this out. I figured this out when I met his friends. This is key for girls who aren't really sure about someone. He met my friends two weekends ago, went really well. He was all buttoned up, very nice, very respectful. Everybody really liked him. I guess you gotta be on your best behavior when you meet new people and that goes for her too. He asked if I wanna go meet. His friends, St. Patrick's Day. And he's like, no, you should just come and just meet them. These are his best friends, mind you. Like, we're trying to get to a certain level. This has potential for this person being my boyfriend. I'm gonna like make the effort, go see his friends, try and make a good impression, see what's up. Are you sure the guy was trying to be your boyfriend though? I get to the bar. There's girls like, and guys like, bruh. I text him, I'm there. He knows I'm coming, doesn't answer. I have to go like search for him. Can't find him. I find his friend who I met um, once. He comes up and is like, oh, Colette, like we're over here. I go, and I got a really good impression from this guy the first time I go to meet the group over. And I see the guy that I'm dating, who's, mind you, like very shy and reserved with me, but we're like, slowly opening up so i walk up to the group and he's like like in the group but he looks at me and he like walks over so that we're in the middle of the circle and he just like starts putting his tongue down my throat like full-on makeup which he doesn't even do when it's just the two of us it looks like he was trying to put on a show in front of his friends guys do that all the time and i was like whoa so i kind of like pull back and i'm thinking like okay he must be really drunk like i what the f gets Way worse, way worse. Starts introducing me to his friends. Okay, great, like meeting all his friends. And then he's like on his phone trying to coordinate and get guys there, I guess. They weren't on seven dates. Someone had to be paying for those dates. If you don't like the guy, don't waste his money, don't waste his time. You have a worse dating story? One time a guy tried to like kiss me at the end and I just wasn't feeling it. And he got all upset about it. Like, oh, like, you know, I, I took you and I'm like, no one gave a binding contract that anything's going to happen after this, you know? I think that's pretty bad to me. If a guy spends money on you, he's going to expect something in return. That's just the way it is. Maybe not too extreme for others, but like for me, I was just like, hell no, I'm not dating this person, you know, ever again. If you're doing that and getting upset about it, then that's not for me.